Welcome to Good Mythical More. You clicked through. Thank you. Sport tastes everything that you can buy at the grocery store and tells you what you should and shouldn't do. Especially the stuff that you might miss or otherwise not be excited about. Um, and there were awards. Awards. For the best stuff. We're gonna taste some of, of it. Of the entire year last year, so we're gonna kick off this year by tasting it right here. But first, we're going to donate $1,000 to the National Alliance to End Homelessness to aid in their mission to prevent and end homelessness in the United States. They work collaboratively with the public, private, and nonprofit sectors leading to stronger programs and policies that help homeless individuals and families make positive changes in their lives. Please join us in giving at endhomelessness.org. Thank you for being your mythical best. Yes. Justine, come on in here, join us. Um, Join us. Justine is at the helm of sport.com. And you're gonna scoot on up here. Yeah. Scoot on up. And oh, you got envelopes and everything? I've well, never this actually. Was, this was serious. Yeah, this was very serious. We considered this for a long time, and I've never gotten to present at an award show before. So this is as close as I'm gonna get to the Oscars, okay. I feel. Okay. 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 All right. Well, All right. Well, we're gonna make Making you feel, we're, yeah. gonna, let's, we're gonna be dramatic. We'll, we'll, even though these are already on the internet. <laughs> So um, what is the first category? Okay, first category we have is best crunchy snack. Mm -hmm. Best crunchy snack. Mm. Crunchy, right. crunchy snack. Crunchy snack, yeah. not a soft snack. So this includes all chips. All chips. All nuts. Sure. It doesn't have to be salty. No, it can be sweet and crunchy. There you like go. like it could be um, peanut brittle. It it could be corn nuts. I'm gonna spoil it. It's not peanut brittle. Oh, good. I don't like peanut brittle. Okay, yeah. ready? Yes. Okay, and the sports award for best crunchy snack goes to. Thank you. <laughs> Jalapeno cheddar Cheetos. Hey! Yeah! Look at that. Oh my They've goodness. They've been working so hard. Oh, I love that. All bag. year long. It's well, good. I'm gonna open them. Yeah. <laughs> I love your thoughts. Jalapeno cheddar Cheetos. So how, Justine, did, the, did these make it to the top? What was the consideration there? So the reasoning behind this is a lot of what we thought about was what, what we haven't stopped thinking about. Um, so these just kept popping up in our brains. What we like oh. about these the best is it is both Cheeto and it is spicy. So we like these better than a, a flame and Hot because a flame and Hot, just yes. a spicy. I'll and a it. Cheeto, just a Cheeto. I've said it a million times. Spicy Cheeto. Jalapeno is the best flavor profile of a pepper to put into a snack. It's always the best for me. It's better than habanero. And some of the really hot ones like Carolina Reaper, they taste bad jalapeno. Always on point. This yeah. is why spork is so important because I would never eat these. Why? Um, I just don't think I would like it. What? <clears throat> they're awesome. Yeah, they're really good. You're right because, yeah, because I don't, I don't love the flaming hot because where's the cheat? That's the problem with it. I didn't realize that. Where's I'm the missing cheeto? the cheese. Yeah, exactly. And you always forget, well, I Dang, always forget good. how crunchy a Cheeto actually is. I mean, you they, think it's gonna be a soft puff, it's not. Mm -mm, it's a no, crunchy snack. It's hard. You get those little hard bits in oh. there too, love those. So this is the best crunchy snack. Of 2022. That's award winning right there, look at that. Award winning. Yeah. Have Purdy, we heard Purdy from bag. Cheetos? Not personally, no. I assume we're being talked about around the audience, or around the office and they're too nervous to reach out, but Gosh. we're here, Cheetos. Cause they're Talk not to us. They're not too spicy. You need to go no, to the. That little hint of spice at yeah. the end. You know what you need to do? Get the team together. Go to the Frito Lay. We're gonna go take a trip headquarters to headquarters in Plano, Texas. Show up with a bunch of trophies. They'll let you in. Yeah. Hey, there's a bunch of people with trophies out front. Yeah. Open the gates. Put down the drawbridge. And we'll go in and I'll again present an envelope. What is yeah. Chester? What is he doing on the on the front of that? Lassoing a pepper with his tail. Isn't he? He can do it. And he's wearing what kind of a hat? Why is he wearing a hat? A cowboy. Because he's hat. a cowboy. Because jalapenos are cowboy. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. It's like a, it's like a, a, a like a Tex-Mex ranch hat kind of a thing. A Tex-Mex ranch hat. A classic Tex-Mex ranch hat. I think it's. I think that's what he is. He's. It's, it's a ranch hat more than a. It's kind of like a specific kind of cowboy. I don't have my cowboys. Designated into different categories. Yeah, he's a he's a rancher. Okay. Well, I'm glad I'm glad we cleared he's that up. He's growing jalapenos down there. 
You want to move on to the best candy bar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm keeping hold of these. <laughs> I actually best just candy. spoiled it a little bit. It is best candy. No, is oh. it? Is it a? Is it a bar? It's a bar. And now is this? Okay, it could be any candy bar. It could be any. Do you have a guess? They'll keep drumming the whole peanut, time. Peanut brittle. I, I think it's, it's peanut butter. Really. I think it's peanut butter Snickers. That's my personal favorite. But yeah, I think classic Snickers is always a, a winner. Best of 2022. Okay, well, now it's a bit oh. of like a letdown. Thank you. Best of 2022. I mean. Best of, it, but it's got to be something a little surprising. That would be boring. Yeah, exactly. I'm still. I'm still. Build it up. Build it up. Build it up. Okay. Okay. Okay, and the Sparked Award goes to the Whatchamacallit. Oh. Remember these? They still exist. Holy moly. And they're amazing. With whatchamacallit? Oh, now, I love they, a Whatchamacallit. Where did Whatchamacallit end when we ranked candy bars? Like, Far too low if it wasn't number one, clearly. Oh, I've done it. Is it what's in these? Okay. Peanut butter? A little bit of just a little bit of peanut butter, a little bit of like a crispy wafer, a little chocolate. Look at that size. Isn't that nice? It's nice to hold. It's like an old cell phone. I, I think yeah, it is. I think Mine's that, broke. I think that we were surprised by this them. on the show previously. It's just that perfect amount of a little treat. It's very flat. We were what's so surprised it again? by this. What what uh, what are the ingredients? You've got your a little bit of caramel, a little bit of peanut butter, a little bit of wafer. It's like anything you can kind of pull out of other candy bars. Just like scrape it in a thin layer, and that's a whatchamacallit. Um, I mean, it's a tasty candy. It's a really good candy. It's if you a tasty try it candy. up against the other, I will say this. So like, it. I think one this just surprised us. It looks kind of mundane. It's straight out of the 80s. I honestly stopped, think, I thought they stopped making them in like 1989. Uh, so the fact that they started to appear again is, or to, to they, they, they had that lasting power that we were really yeah, yeah. surprised about. It's old school. And it just is satisfying. It hits all those notes. Because like personally, I love a take five. Great. But it's a lot, it's a lot of flavors all at once. This is that yeah. nice, Balance. It, it, it doesn't hit you over the head. You're exactly right. Mm -hmm. It's an everyday candy bar. Um, every single day. Every day. I'll candy watch bar. a call it a day keeps the what away. When I wake up in the morning feeling like P Diddy, I open up a watch call it and I hit the. That's a Kesha. Yeah, yeah. Thing. It says advertising for the watch call it peaked in the 1980s. Yeah. Peaked. I remember that the ad. Wow, but you know they're still making them. I don't even know if it made it into our brackets. I can't remember. Because we only tasted stuff that made it into that the mythical beast had yeah. said was good enough to I make like it the into. I like the I do it. think that's the uh, semi-official answer. So it's like it's flying under the radar. I, I, Not I'm anymore. Gl I'm glad that we here at Mythical are championing championing this. I would like a little bit more now peanut. Um, the, it's the crisps that are peanut flavor. That's why it's not actually peanut butter. Uh, you're right. It's gentle. It's, it's a, a gentle. It's bar. gentle on you. I'm such a savory guy, though. I go back to the Cheetos. And I'm like, that's fair. You could dip that bar in some peanut butter and really go to town. Man, I agree. I want to eat more of the Cheetos too. But what's the next category? Okay, the next category is so each staff member picked their own top product of 2022. So this is my personal oh. top product of 2022. Wow, your top product. Yes. I'm of 2022, and, what, what, and it what, matters. What is your um? I think this. What's your criteria? Again, it, well, this. Let me let me talk about it when I announce it. Okay, okay. so <laughs> so Justine's okay. top pick of 2022 is Motor City Pizza Supreme. Whoa, it's a whole pizza, it's guys. It's a whole pizza. It's a whole pizza. I'm so excited. Oh, Detroit I love style. This pizza. It's Deep Detroit dish. Style. Okay. So doing our frozen pizza taste test, this one came out on top twice. We have updated that article with new, uh, with new pizzas, and this pizza. one continues to be at the top. It's, it's so got, heavy. It's a dense boy, and it's got it's thick and it's chewy and it has nice crispy edges. That's and a good pizza. And it's savory. It's ah, uh, I mean, why bother making your own at home? Have this you, is good. That's have good. you tried Lil Yachty's pizza? We have tried Lil Yachty's pizza. And what what did you think of that? It is okay. It because it's like hot honey. You supposed to put hot honey on it. Mm -hmm. It's frozen. I'm a big Lil Yachty mm -hmm. fan, so and we've got a review on the site. Go check it out. Gets Dang. a lot of people answering whether or not Lil Yachty is a musician or a pizza maker, and you'd be surprised how many people say pizza maker. Mm. 
yeah. So, so Detroit style is we discovered on the show. It's a it's it's cool because the story of them using the pans that they used to keep the bolts in that they at the uh, places that they worked the the mechanics used hmm. the same trays that they put bolts and nuts in while working on cars to make the pizza. That's how the story goes, and that's why it's a deep dish pizza. And then they put there's a lot of times they put um, cheese on the crust. Yes, this is not used for automotive parts. I don't believe. Yeah, but in this, it is in the spirit. But it's of in that. the spirit of it, and it somehow manages to do it, even though it is clearly not made of metal. But I, I just thought this pizza really like was so much better than a a DiGiorno, a Tombstone, and any of those pizzas that you'll it's you'll. It just very good. It just surprised. It's just what is Motor City Pizza Company? What else do they it have? It says it's made More in pizzas. Michigan. So it's just like this is a classic Detroit style pizza from a Detroit Detroit style company, and I'm going to destroy it. Yeah, with my with my mouth. All right, okay. Yeah, I respect that, my, that choice. Yeah, I will. Going with a whole. I pizza. love it. I have a, I have feelings for it. Okay, moving away from pizza, we've got best vegan product. We okay, tasted all right. I think we I need a bathroom break. A lot of <laughs> vegan. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Got the bucket. Um, we, best vegan product. Best vegan product. We tasted a lot of vegan products this year. Uh, a lot of fake meat. A lot of fake cheese. A lot of fake yogurt. Um, and this is the best one. So okay. It's, it's Sometimes you can find something that really works. Best vegan product of 2022 goes to Trader Joe's non-dairy shredded Parmesan cheese. Yum. This is such an interesting little thing that we're doing here. So shredded very cheese specific. very often can just taste, like fake shredded cheese just tastes like nothing um, and it gets really crumbly. This one to me tastes like real shredded Parmesan cheese. Now that's not to say it's tasted like, it tastes like fresh shredded Parmesan cheese. This tastes like a packaged Parmesan cheese. It tastes cheese. like old regular cheese. Exactly. And yeah. that is what shredded Parmesan cheese that you get from the grocery store ends up tasting like. So I think to yeah. me this like, you it's put this on, on buttered noodles, it tastes like childhood, which is a lot to get out of a vegan product. And it has a melty, melty, good melty quality? It does have a good melty quality. So it's, the ingredients are Parmesan cheese alternative. Yeah, you know. With, which is water, modified potato starch, coconut oil, salt, other stuff, but yeah, it. How did they get that tang? Where's that tang coming from? Is there like a yeast in there or something? Yeast extract, turmeric, Oleo resin but for color. color. Okay. Yeast is not an animal. Yeast is not an animal. I have wondered about this. It is a living organism in some ways. And you but can so kind are of plants. It. Right, exactly. So, he, yeah, you'd be kind of stuck if you were that stringent. If you were like, I'm not going to eat, you'd be eating rocks. If you had to And eat. even that, there's little, there's little creatures in rocks. Yeah. You really can't get away from eating creatures. Yeah, that's nope. really how it works. But, I, you know, I get it. I get it. <clears throat> I respect it. I like this. It's got a salty quality. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Not bad at all. Trader Joe's. Trader, Trader Joe's. Joe's. Trader, Trader, sometimes Trader Joe's does do very good job. It does do good job. Okay. <laughs> Trader Joe's gonna do a good job. It do it gonna do a good job. Okay. Let's go with our best new product of the year. Oh. So we try new products uh, all the time. We're trying anything that seems to be interesting on the market. We'll get it in. We'll do a little new product review. Got to do it. Uh, and this one just was the best of the best, and we tried some weird ones. Okay. Okay, so the best new product of 2022 is the limited edition Truff Hidden Valley Ranch. So I will say. What? I, I, you're just not going to find this anymore, but oh boy, if you can. I mean, Hold hit, on. Hit so this is the eBay. sauce company? This is the hot sauce, so the truffle hot sauce that I am just... I've been putting that stuff on everywhere, everywhere. But this one, everything. Had, this one is. I put it on everywhere. Put it on my body. Plus Hidden Valley. Look at this. And yeah, this was obviously Jordan's baby. What? Uh, they love a they love a ranch. It's, they love got a hot great sauce. Packaging. Oh my gosh! Can you I feel like you got to take a piece of this destroy this destroyed. I don't know why I want to say destroyed <laughs> style pizza and put some of that ranch on it. So right. you can't get this anymore. I mean. How much we did this it cost? Down. Good gosh. Probably cost $45. You but remember? It's worth it. That is beautiful. Would you mind opening it? 
Because that's kind of what we're doing. We're yeah, trying. We're trying the things. Just to, I, pick, I picked the, up on a pattern. You know, the resale value is going to. Go easy. That. Go easy. Go easy. Woo. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, you can smell it. You can smell the truffle from here. If you don't like truffle, you ain't gonna like it. Well, no. Yeah, it's strong. That's true. But, but yeah, twenty five bucks. I mean, that's, that's not bad for twenty five dollars. This is I did not because you're gonna put it existed. on everything. Yeah, it's. I mean, you can make it at home just by taking Hidden Valley Ranch and 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 the black truffle hot sauce. Yes. And mixing it. So don't tell them that. But you're not gonna get. You don't get that awesome this box. Packaging. This is the most satisfying packaging this I've ever like seen. This is a gift. That this is yeah, a gift. It's like, a great cap to to, to it's twist. It's a really off. nice cap. Oh my gosh, this is so, this is so worthy of the award. Yeah. Did you taste shake it? well before each? Yes, I love it. Oh, I I missed it. I was caught up in my Detroit my Detroit style pizza. Oh my gosh, it's it was so good on beautiful. It, yeah. This is the most bucks. beautiful ranch. Like, I'm about to cry. I can tell that you're very touched. Like, I remember the first time we tasted the truff hot sauce on the show. I don't I wasn't drawn to it. But a little bit goes a long way because that the truffle is so pungent. I love truffle and I have the truff hot sauce at my house, but I end up going with something that's a little bit less truffly. Well, something that doesn't have truffles in it, just because it takes the dish and makes it truffle flavored. Yeah. So you have to be like, yeah. I want that to happen right now. And I don't always want that to happen. But that's why it's good in a sauce and then like a dipping because then you can yeah. have the option yep. of like, I want this bite, yes, this bite, right. no. I'll, right. put it, I'll put it on my plate and then like for breakfasts, like if I have a breakfast casserole, oh, that's I, good. I like a little truffle sauce and this stuff. Would that just on be, a breakfast sandwich? Oh my like gosh. Like gooey egg. And they're just down in Huntington Beach. You, I mean, the, you, you could take an Uber to give them the trophy. That's true, and then demand that they continue to make this on a <laughs> right. on a regular basis. Who's Bring gonna it back. refuse a trophy? This is the, this is also best collaboration of 2022, in my opinion. There you go. There's a link exclusive award. Oh, I keep going by. These, these are so good. So, where is it? This has been kept. I'm sure people, Jordan's wanted to take this home. Oh, absolutely. We we haven't let him take it home. Good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be taking this home. Uh, yeah, no, I won't. I won't tell them. All right, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna got, get my own or got, make my own. We got one more. It's one beautiful. More? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Last one. We'll end on a hot, hot note because it's the best spicy product. <laughs> okay. okay. Can I get a little? Oh, thank you. That spicy is Momofuku Extra Spicy Chili Crisp. What? Are you guys chili crisp people? Oh, oh, yeah. The, the, the so, crowd likes this. This is for um, whatever. I put that on yogurt. I put what? that on oatmeal. So not hand me a spoon. So wait. not dim sum. Not it just could be dim sum? absolutely. Put it on a dumpling. And I mean, you. I only eat it on a dumpling usually. And you just put it on pizza. You just take it in your spoon. Yeah. Get make sure to get the crunch rather than the oil part. Although okay. that is what I like about this is you can just use the oil. Or you can have the crunch. It is spicy, but it does also have flavor. A lot of times, I'm chili so if I had a spoonful of that, that much, would it be too hot for me? Uh, I don't know. Give it a go. I am correct in saying that, like, this is what I do dip my soup dumplings in at, like, Din Tuck Fong, right? Mm hmm. I, I do need this at home. There's a crunchiness yeah. element. Right. I, I, I do like a piece of toast with cream cheese and, like, some of this. I put it on peanut butter on toast, too. It's good. What? Mm. Just literally anything. Ha, it's good, but it needs to be on something. No. Yeah, put that, it on the pizza. Well, I'm just putting it over Or just there put a little spoonful on the side. Put it on a whatchamacallit. Mm. I, I prefer a truffle. There you go. I got a little sausage from my pizza. So this is the best spicy product of 2022. Look it at is. that. Oh, that's good stuff. Look at this. Uh, Award winning. They also make a ghost Mama chili Fuku that I is also a, recommend. Uh, Fuku. Mama Fuku is... Is a restaurant, right? David Chang's Restaurant ah! Empire. Yeah. Is that the one that we went to for the party? And I sat next to David Chang as we ate at there. <laughs> yes. So yeah. it was like one of the best culinary experiences of my life. And he kept as feeding us. The food this boy. came out and he explained what everything was. He kept feeding us and he was so enthusiastic. And I was just like, well, I need a second stomach, dude. You're killing me. Man knows what he's doing. Um, oh, yeah. Justine, you've done it. 
You have freaking done it. The fact that I, oh gosh, <laughs> this is. You've done it, you've got it all over my hands. This okay. th this stuff has to be in my house. And so the the journey continues in 2023. You're you're just continuing to taste things. We're continuing to taste things. We have all sorts of other categories of best award winning products on the site as well, including the you know, more best overall. We've got best grocery store, even uh, best breakfast food, all sorts of things. Best, best packaging, ice cream. Best ice cream. Of course, that's on there. So. Well, yeah. for Listen, all that. don't go and try to taste everything for yourself when somebody else has done the hard work of tasting for it. I'm gonna take this home too. <laughs> for all the best foods the sport crew ate in 2022, head over to sports.com.